Hello, my name is Roshana and I've come to share with you a method of releasing emotions that I find so powerful in my own life that I want to share it with you. It's called the Sedona Method and the Sedona Method is a way of looking at and recognizing what we're feeling in the moment and then releasing those feelings. There are several techniques that are available right now that do the same thing. They're all very powerful and I believe they're all really important for us at this point in our lives. I believe we're at a point in humanity's evolution when we are meant to become all that we can be in this life and to be living a full and rich and abundant life. And the older techniques of counseling and being with a therapist that took so many years to release our feelings. I don't think there's time for that anymore. I think it's time for us to step up and become the fullness of who we are and to do that now. And we have all these methods that are available for us to do that very quickly. And the Sedona Method is a great tool for doing that because when we use the Sedona Method, we are releasing our feelings and our emotions in the moment, in the instant that we feel them, as soon as we use the questions that are a part of the Sedona Method, we're releasing on the spot. And it's a beautiful gift to ourselves because when we release those emotions, we have better health, more joy, more abundance. We, many of us, have no idea how so many of our emotions and our feelings are really coming from subconscious beliefs that we're not good enough, that we're not worthy, that we don't deserve. And so when we start to clear these away, we actually see things improve in our life and things simply will show up in your life that you never dreamed possible because you've let go of those beliefs that the emotions were showing you. So when you use the Sedona method to release your beliefs, your feelings, your emotions when they come to the surface, you're actually allowing yourself to become healthier and more joyful. It's a well-known fact that emotions that are stored in the body that are stuffed down and not released actually lead to stress and many physical ailments. There are people who for quite some time have made the connection between emotions and physical ill health and that's certainly very valid and true and then it also impacts our mental and our spiritual health as well. So the more we release and identify our emotions, the better life is. And with the Sedona Method, it's such an easy tool, there's really no reason not to use it. All you have to do when a feeling comes to the surface is to identify what that feeling is. And that's something that I think many of us avoid instead of really stopping and looking at what's chasing us because those feelings continue to chase us until we actually stop and look at them. So the greatest gift, I think, in this tool, or one of the greatest gifts of it certainly, is that it asks us to stop and truly look at what we're feeling. So let's say we're feeling fear because we have an exam tomorrow and we're not feeling fully prepared. The more fear you have around that, the less presence you're going to have in the moment in the exam room and so your fear is actually going to lead you to be more scattered in your thinking and not able to do as well as you possibly could. So if you can release that fear, you're going to be in a place of calmness where you can touch in with that inner knowing that you have. So what you would do is say, you just simply stop and say, okay, I'm really fearful that I'm not going to do well in this exam, that I'm not prepared. Okay, I am feeling a release from that right now, just having made that statement, even though I'm not in this situation, my body just released from that. So my body obviously was holding some fear from time past that is related to that very same thing. And simply by making that statement, my body just released. I have dedicated a year of my own work to healing and releasing emotions because I wanted my life to change. My life was not certainly what I wanted it to be. There were a lot of challenges and they just kept repeating year after year after year. So finally in 2012 I said this is it. I am dedicating this year to healing myself so that my life can change. And my life certainly has changed. I see things flowing into my life as if they were falling from the sky once I released the beliefs of 
things that are limiting me and holding me back. And so I, I recognize very easily when my body is releasing and that sigh that you just heard was one of those ways of releasing. So with the Sedona method, once you've done that, you feel your sigh, you, um, you identify your question, then you ask yourself, could I let that go? And it seems like a very simple question, but sometimes the answer is actually no. Again, my body's releasing. Could I let that go? So I'm going to say yes, I could let that go. So then the second question is, would I let that go? Because sometimes we know we could, but maybe we're not really ready to let it go. So if I ask myself, would I let that go? The answer again might be no. I might be holding on to resentment and somehow I feel like by holding that resentment I'm punishing the other person. That's not true. You're really only punishing yourself. But even if the answer is no, would I let that go? Your body may let it go anyway. And by asking the question, you may be ready in a couple of minutes time from now to let it go. So first you ask, could I let that go? Yes or no. Would I let that go? Yes or no. And the third question is when? When am I going to let that go? So when you ask the uh, would question, would I let it go, and the answer was no, then you can ask when. Okay, maybe tomorrow I'll let that go. But you may find later in this same day that you may be ready and willing to let it go. So these three simple questions, as you've seen with me, I wasn't making up those sighs, they were coming from my body. The body has wisdom. Every cell is holding memories. Every cell is holding wisdom of everything that's ever happened to you in your life experience. And so when you ask these questions, you can teach your body to let go. You can show your body that you are willing to let these feelings go. And the more you release them, the easier your life becomes. You literally become lighter because you're not carrying the burdens of those emotions. Have you ever seen someone, I know in my own experience in the past, someone told me you're walking all hunched over. And I realized I was carrying so many emotional burdens on my shoulders that I had to walk all hunched over. So the more you release, the better your life is going to become. And as I said, it's this act of identifying, truthfully identifying what you're feeling that is so powerful. And the Sedona Method is such an easy tool to help you do that. Three simple questions. You may find that you'll want to take it further because there's so much more that's available to you with the Sedona Method. So you can check out the links below if you want to take it further. You can start by using these three simple questions for yourself and just seeing how you feel. Stop and identify your feelings through the day. Don't push through them. Don't try to run from them. It just doesn't work. The only way that works is to really stop and look at them and release them and then they'll go away. It's like a little child who stubs her toe and she just wants you to know that she hurt herself and as soon as you acknowledge that, she'll turn around and go and play again. But if you just say, oh, you're okay, you'll be fine, don't worry about it, the child is still wanting to be acknowledged so they hang around and they wait until you do that. So our feelings, our emotions are kind of like that child. They just want to be acknowledged and when we look at them and really see them, they just leave and we are lighter and happier and we can go play too. So check out the links below. Use the Sedona Method to help you release those feelings and emotions that we all have in our lives so that you can find your way into the great joy and happiness and abundance that we all search for and we all so deserve to have in this life.